We're now going to learn the shocking truth about electrochemistry. Our approach here will be to review some topics in introductory chemistry and then build upon those and understand electrochemistry in more detail. This is typical in chemistry. You learn a topic on one level at an introductory level and then when you take an advanced course you learn it again although on a deeper level. All right, let's first review some topics in introductory chemistry about electrochemistry. Let's consider a redox reaction. Redox stands for oxidation reduction, so really it should be called an oxred reaction. Here's an example. If you take some copper in solution as copper 2 plus, and into that solution you put solid zinc, what happens is that copper plates out on the zinc, and zinc then goes into solution as zinc 2 plus. This is an oxidation reduction reaction. Electrons are transferred from the zinc to the copper. What's oxidized? The thing that's oxidized is the substance or the species that increases its oxidation number. Zinc has an oxidation number of zero. It goes to plus two. Therefore, zinc is oxidized. What's reduced? Well, that's the species that has a reduction in the oxidation or oxidation number here, plus two. Copper goes to copper zero, so copper is reduced. What's the oxidizing agent? That's what causes something to be oxidized by itself being reduced. So copper two plus is the oxidizing reagent. It oxidizes zinc to zinc two plus by transferring or by accepting two electrons and it itself is reduced. And what's the reducing agent? Well, that would be zinc because zinc reduces copper to copper solid by giving it two electrons and it itself then becomes oxidized to zinc two plus. All right, so that should, I hope, sound familiar to you from introductory chemistry. Here's some other concepts. Here's the overall reaction, but you can divide this reaction into two half reactions where you explicitly show where the electrons are going. So here's the two half reactions here. One is a reduction, that's copper being reduced to copper solid, copper two plus to copper solid, and the other is oxidation. Here zinc is being oxidized. And here we explicitly show that two electrons go on to the copper to reduce that. And here two electrons are produced from the zinc when you oxidize zinc. So it's oxidation reduction and you add these two half reactions together and you get the whole reaction. And you do this in a balanced sort of way so that the number of electrons that are going on to the species reduced is equal to the number of electrons that are given up by the species that's oxidized. I hope so far so good. One a last uh, slide here to review some electrochemistry concepts. So as we had here, we had one reduction and one oxidation. But in order to do calculations and calculate cell voltages, you write everything as a reduction reaction. So here's the uh, reduction reaction for copper 2 plus. Here's the reduction reaction for copper or zinc 2 plus. And each one of these has what's known as a standard reduction, reduction potential. That's E0 for copper 2 plus and zinc 2 plus. In order to calculate the cell voltage for that, you take the standard reduction potential for the species that's being reduced. Here's the overall thing, so copper is being reduced. And subtract off from that the reduction potential. In other words, the reverse of this reaction, reduction potential, the thing that's being oxidized here. And let's just do that for this. So we'll look up in a table what the standard reduction potentials are for copper 2 plus and for zinc 2 plus. And we'll do this calculation. Here is a, a list. Uh, go back up here. Wikipedia standard electrode potential data page. All right, so we go down here. We have as a whole bunch of reduction reaction. So see electrons are being put on various things to produce the reduced species. So these are reduction half reactions. This is a very negative value, the most negative value here. Trying to put an electron on strontium plus, that's very unfavorable. It has a negative reduction potential. If we go down to the other end of the table, what we find here, uh, let's look at this one. Put an electron on fluorine that has a very positive uh, reduction potential. So fluorine likes to have an electron on it. It's highly electronegative and so on. So let's uh, see if we can find copper here. Copper, that's almost right, except here copper is only accepting one electron. And we want copper to accept two electrons. Uh, so we'll go down one here. Here it is. 
So the standard reduction potential for copper 2 plus to go to copper solid is 0 0.340. There's that right there. Let's look at the standard reduction potential for zinc. Here it is. Zinc, you put two electrons on zinc 2 plus, you make solid zinc. I guess it's this one down here. <laughs> this one is amalgamated with mercury down here. 0 0.7618, 0 0.76, that should be a 1, 1, 8. And so you take the reduction potential of the thing that's being reduced and subtract off the reduction of the thing that's being oxidized and you get the cell voltage 1.103. So that's a brief review of some introductory chemistry concepts that will be useful later on in electrochemistry.